Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! It is the main event of the night. 12 rounds of boxing for the WBC Middleweight Championship of the World. Introducing, in the blue corner, fighting out of Potomac, Maryland, weighing in at 158 pounds, with a professional record of 33 wins, one defeat, with 24 KOs, he is the challenger and former undisputed welterweight champion of the world, Sugar Ray Leonard. And in the red corner, from Brockton, Massachusetts, weighing 158 and one half pounds, his professional record consists of 16 wins, two draws, two defeats, and 52 KOs. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the WBC middleweight champion of the world, marvelous Marvin Hetzler. All right. I listen, I gave both of you your, your instructions in your dressing room. I want to caution you again. Obey my commands at all times. Shake hands and good luck. Good. good. Well, Sugar Ray Leonard said he would not look at Marvin Hagler. There would be no stare down. There wasn't. And you really have the feeling the first round is going to tell an awful lot of the story of this fight. Well, Ray feels that he has to discombobulate, confuse Hagler hit him some shots to get his respect and get the crowd on his side whereas Hagler feels that he wants to impose himself on Ray and show who's boss he said he would do, going largely side to side. He may be moving a little bit more than he led us to believe. Uh, and Hagler wants to make him work so that if the fight does go into the second half, that perhaps Ray's stamina would betray him. Well, I remember Ray saying after the Camacho Boza Edwards fight that we all did together, combination by Leonard and a good left hand. Camacho fought the right fight, and it was the kind of fight that he would have to fight against Hagler. <laughs> Leonard a combination again.
Very clear that Leonard is trying to fight a tactical fight, moving away, punching in flurries, clinching, moving again. At the end of the round, Ray Leonard is if to say, I'm still here. Cool as he can be. Oh, relax, brother. I got him all out of his mind already. Just keep it up. Here you go. Nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. Here's that combination that Leonard shot through. The left hand landed on the nose, the right hand just grazed Hagler. If you heard in the corners, Hagler's cornerman told him to rough Leonard up in this round. Goody Petronelli talked about. Come on, we're going to get out. We're going to get out. Overhand right by Sugar Ray Leonard. Want to get out. Once again, to harken back to something that Ray Leonard told me a few months back was you get in, you throw three punch combinations, you make one punch count, and you get out. You do that three times around and you win a decision. I still wonder watching this whether Ray Leonard wouldn't have been better off fighting at 150 or 151 pounds. You know, when Sugar Ray Robinson won the middleweight title, he weighed 153. When Angel Griffith won it, he weighed 150. Because if he's just going to be moving like this, the extra weight could tell in later rounds. Come on, punch it out. Don't hold it, Ray. Good right hand to the body by Hackett. That was on the top of the head. Keep it up! I want you smooth, baby! 
Smooth, you get me? Watch out, watch out. Water. Huh? This man, we get him. Alright, get the guy. Yeah, yeah, loosen up right in here. In here. Good luck. Here, tell the car. Now put him to it. Keep the pressure on. Get a little rough with the pass. Get that guy out of here. On my card, Gary, Leonard won the first two rounds. He also won some, some of the fans here. People were sitting back waiting to see what Sugar Ray Leonard brought to this dance and so far he's brought quite a lot. Changing direction, moving, throwing combinations, keeping Hagler off balance. Nice and smart. Get me? Nice and smart. How about those jabs? How about those jabs? Paint this sucker, he'll go for a Last time we saw Hagler punch his head like that, he tore after Hearns. We'll see if he's getting a little desperate now and if he goes into fifth gear against Leonard or tries to. Yeah, there was some discussion as to how he would start the fight. And he started in about second gear. Now he seems to be pacing up a little bit.
Come on, work it inside and get out. Don't hold it, right? Right hand on the break again by Leonard. There may have been no objective evidence to pick Ray Leonard to win this fight, but up to this point, he is providing subjective evidence that his quickness does befuddle Hagler, and Hagler has to slow him down. The other issue, of course, will be conditioning as the fight moves on. That could be very much a key factor. Hagler does his best work inside, has just not been able to get there. And when he has, Leonard has counterpunched him well. <laughs> Leonard just picking his shots here. fighter. Whatever feelings of nerves he had early on, they vanished. Hagler has led him into this fight. Or to put it in a more positive way, Ray Leonard has put himself into this fight. And now he's starting even to taunt Hagler. Watch it out, watch it out. Smiling at him and just essentially saying, come on. And now Hagler's getting angry. No question about it. Take a look. There was a bolo body punch, may have landed on the borderline. It was those sort of tactics that finally drove Roberto Duran into his no mas. A little more pressure, you have to yeah. do it. Maybe a bit too hot for you to get caught to, all right? No. Snap, speed. Right. Okay. All right? Okay. Okay, you look. Okay, man. Okay. instead of punching. I don't recall either fighter having his back on the ropes. This fight has been fought almost completely in the center of the ring. Come on, punch get up. That was the first right there as Leonard bounced off the ropes. Don't hold him, Ray. Don't hold him. Is on the bicycle as much in this round. That punch didn't land. The pace 
pace appears to be quickening. Three punch combination, Leonard, two to the body, one to the head. the heart of left and the right uppercut and you saw Ray Leonard's knees buckle this is the same sequence from another angle the question is can Ray Leonard continue to box as he did in the early round Angelo Dundee exhorting him to do just that don't get in a punching match that was the advice right hand by Hagler right off the bat here it's the sixth round. We're going 12. A good left inside by Hagler. You barely saw that, but it was a tough left hand. Work it get out. Work it out. Break. Step back, clean. Step back. Keep him in front. Keep him in front. Don't hold him. Work it, get out. Work it, get out. A little bit more holding on the part of Ray Leonard now. There was a right hand by Leonard with his back to the rope. Ray is standing more flat-footed now. Started to do that in the last round. the sense that Marvin Hagler is saying yes he can punch me but no he can't hurt me come on work that side get out don't hold him Ray don't hold him watch your head be reminded that Ray Leonard's eyes have become a non-issue to this point. All of the concern about 
the detached retina. Combination, Leonard got the better of that. Just keep him backing up. He's, gonna have, he's weak enough as it is. Do his mm -hmm. punches and flurries. Okay? Uh -huh. you gotta hang him up. Yeah. Inside, rough him up inside. You gotta do it now. So, okay. one, so more one punch at a time. Chunk to one, chunk to them all. Alright? Mm -hmm. Here's the boss. Rough him up. Ray Leonard has made it to the first half of the Good fight. Night, Good night, Ray. Right, and made it in good fashion. I have him ahead Come four on, rounds to two. Don't hold it. And now Don't you really it. have an idea that conditioning is going to tell the biggest part of this story tonight. that Ray has put his bicycle in the garage. It looks like it's going flat-footed. the bigger ring here. He got his wish and he's using all of it. Now again, back to the ropes. Hagler and uppercut. The fighter doesn't go to the ropes unless he's a little tired. Nobody does it deliberately. his arms like he's a little bit fatigued also. And now Hagler mocking Leonard. And Hagler made him pay for that bit of fancy footwork. Right hand by Hagler again. Again, Leonard on the rope. in that last exchange. this exchange on the ropes at the end of the round. Ray hit Hagler with a short right after the bell. 
bang. Stay south by. I think you do it better. And you're rocking about two. You have to do that. You get up against the ropes like you did there. That overhand, fine. And bring the uppercut to us. That was right. Drive them up. Get a little rough in there. Okay? It's all yours. So it's pretty simple. Marvelous Bob and Hagler's corner wants Ray Leonard on the ropes. Ray Leonard corner wants Ray Leonard off the ropes. Now we'll see who wins. Arrogance and impudence that made Ray Leonard a great fighter. And that made him take this fight. He's certainly working in his favor so far. It is a tactical fight from both corners. And so far, an entertaining fight. Not one for action. Left hand by Hagler. Hagler has landed the only real hard punch of the fight. Ray has shown a remarkable ability to take Hagler's punches, even though they haven't been big ones, considering the long layoff. Hagler just continues to press Sugar Ray Leonard. This time Leonard does get off the ropes. Exactly what you're doing. Yeah. You better rough them up. You may take a few shots, man. Get the point right. All right. Just get the point right. All right. How do you feel, man? You're going to you brawl this guy. Keep the pressure on him. Take his legs away from right now. Mm -hmm. And to get him against those, so the over again. Upper cuts are very good. Ray, please box. Box. All you. All you. Go away. Deep breath. Give me another one. No. He's going to work. What's the time? Hang me. Don't wait for him. You can't. He's going to take the block. Tommy. Box. Let's go. They're going into the last third of the fight. And Ray Leonard, keep it up. Well, they went back to what brung him in the early round, in the last round. That is keep Marvin Hagler in the middle of the ring, get on the bike on occasion. Punch 
action flurries and then get out. Come on, work again. Seems to be getting off a little bit quicker than Marvin on, Hagler. Don't hold it. Don't hold it. Don't hold it. of this round into a tremendous war and there is Ray Leonard coming back with a terrific glory Jordan your boss ten rounds three more rounds now you gotta preach the same kind of pressure we need a right. whatever happens for the rest of this fight Ray Leonard already has justified himself. This is the tenth round. Hagler comes out winging. Catches Leonard with a long right hand here. And Leonard back up on the bike. to brawl on occasion with Marvin Hagler. Much to the chagrin of Angelo Dundee. Leonard backhanding Hagler now. And Hagler pressing him. but I 
keep thinking that it's a ploy. I don't think it's a ploy. I think he is tired, but he's gathering his strength for a few round-stealing flurries is what he's trying to do. He's a tremendously intelligent athlete, both in the way he fights tactically, and now I think coming down home stretch, he's going to try to steal these rounds.
taking deep breaths. I'm still amazed, Barry, how Ray has taken Hagler's punches. Remember after his last fight how he said every punch hurt. These have had to hurt more.
impeccable performance, whatever the result. It was a great fight on both sides, regardless of who wins it. Both fighters think they won the fight. Justin Filippo scores the bout. 115, Marvin Hagler. 113, Ray Leonard. Judge Jojo Guerra scores the bout. 118, Leonard. 110, Hagler. And Judge Dean Baretti scores. 115, 113. By the winner, by a split decision, and new, newly champion of the world, Sugar Ray Leonard. When the first two verdicts were announced, it was a split decision. You seem to feel you had it won easily. Were you shocked? No, I wasn't, Larry. I stole the early round. I figured that was Marvin's intention to let me win the early round and then try to figure me out. The mistake he made, I think the touch notes made, he stayed right-handed more than anything. And I was able to land some good right hands. I stunned him a couple of times. I got that respect. He came on strong and was very intelligent because my gas tank was getting low. Could you have gone another three rounds in a 15-round fight? My heart is it was in the fight. I, I would have pushed it no matter what, Larry. You know, this was a great accomplishment for me. I mean, a lot of people didn't think I could do it. You didn't think I could do it. And for further reasons. I mean, I pulled it through. And I think what it was all about was what was in here. And I was waiting from the ring for five years. And I hope they don't say that uh, Marvelous Marvin Hagler, his, his uh, talent wrote it. I'd be the guy who was so determined like he was in the past. 